Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. AJ Reesey here and welcome back to another episode of our How To series. So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at how we can add a live Warzone tracker element to your stream. Now this Warzone tracker will allow you to track how many kills you have, what level you currently are, your current KD, and how many wins you have in total. This is a really easy thing to set up and if you look at my one here in my stream, Nice. <laughs> GG's boys. It can actually look really aesthetically pleasing and it can really bring another level to your stream professionalism. Don't forget guys, if this is your first visit to the channel and your first video, please don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button, ding that bell for notifications and if this video helps out with your stream at all, don't forget to leave a like rating and even a comment down below as well. Also, if you wanted to ask me for any advice on how to do this in real time, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and Saturday on twitch.tv forward slash AJReesey, link down in the description below. So without further ado, let's get your Warzone tracker onto your stream. So guys, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go down to our Google Chrome tab and open up a new browser. And we're going to type in www.podtracker.gg. Now, the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make a new profile. As you can see up here in the corner, I'm already logged in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out and just show you the registration process. First of all, you would click on register and you're gonna create a new username, email, password, and confirm that password, and then log into your emails to confirm your account with the email that they will send you. Once we're back to that stage and you're able to log in, I'm just going to log in here. It will then bring you down to the main COD page. Now, as you can see, I've already linked my account with a reese 23514 on my battle.net. And what you will need to do is you will need to sign in with your battle.net or Xbox Live account to retrieve your statistics. So to start work on getting this added to your stream, we're gonna to go to the top banner here and we're gonna click on the tab that says OBS overlay. Once clicked on that, it's gonna bring you to the custom streams overlay tab and we're going to create our new overlay. Now, as before, as you can see down on the right hand side of the screen, it's going to ask us to select which game we would like to have this tracker on. So I'm going to scroll down and choose Warzone. Once you get to this screen, guys, it's going to ask you to search for your profile. So we're going to click search on profile and you can search with either your battle.net, Xbox Live or PlayStation Network account. I'm going to use my battle.net one. And before the overlay preview comes available, it's going to ask you to choose a layout. Now under the tab variant, we've got both horizontal banner and boxed banner. Now I'm gonna show you what both of these look like, but first of all, we're gonna start off with horizontal banner. Now the horizontal banner is the main one that people tend to go for as it displays your wins, your level, your current KD and the amount of kills that you have. As you can see here, down on the right hand side, we've got our configuration tab and we can choose which color we would like to have to go with our stream. Now, as I predominantly use red and black for the majority of my overlays on my stream, I'm going to change this to red and click save. You can have a variety of colors depending on how you've decided to theme your stream. Just to give you an example, if we did decide that we want to go with the boxed banner, again, it's just a smaller banner with a little less detail on it, something nice and short and sweet to have up in the top corner or maybe on the bottom of your, of your stream. And again, the configuration bar works in the same way. However, we're going to go back to horizontal banner, quickly change that back to red. And then as you can see here, we have the continue button. So once you've designed your overlay, hit continue. It then tells you to get your link. What we're going to do now is we're going to look to the overlay URL and generate the new URL. Next step is to literally just copy that URL using control C or right click and copy. So the next step now is to go and put this into OBS. Opening OBS now in front of us, we need to add this to our stream. Now, as you can probably see here, I've got my browser sources all in one nice little folder, and you can already see that I've got the COD tracker in there. However, to add this to your stream, simply go down to the plus sign and add a new browser source. Call this whatever you like. I've got mine listed as COD tracker, or you could just have it as tracker, but in this case, I'm just gonna keep it as browser for the example, and then hit okay. We then come up with the OBS red box and the blue background and where it says URL, we're just going to highlight that, delete that and control V or right click and paste, then hit OK. 
you'll then be met with the red box and as you can see here we have the call of duty tracker here as well now one thing i would always advise to do is to hold down the alt key and just to shrink that box down a little bit just to give us a nice even playing field from here however you can always still scale it up scale it down and if you really want to if you don't like having the tracker network or the cod.trackergg you can use the alt tab once again to cut that off of the bottom and then move it around your stream wherever you like to have it some people like to have it at the bottom at the top however i like to scale mine down a little bit and just have it above my webcam just to the side here one thing to bear in mind with this guys, even though this is a live Call of Duty tracker, it does take approximately 15 minutes to refresh and update your stats while you're on stream. So that's it for this tutorial guys. I really hope this has become helpful for you and hopefully I get to see this a little bit more on some of everybody else's Warzone streams. Don't forget if you have enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit that big like button. And if you are new to the channel and following the content, please don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and ding that bell for notifications for up-to-date info when all new content goes live and as always guys may your lobbies be full of bots and the odds be forever in your favor